Hello, it's Amy with Just a Little Ink. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. I live in Littleton, Colorado, and I'm here to share with you a card that I'm calling a Z-Fold gift card holder. So it's a typical Z-Fold, but I have included this little pocket so that you can include, looks like I needed to clue that down a little more, but you can include a gift card into your gift. Um, and I'm using the new Penguin Place stamp set. It's available as a bundle out of the new mini catalog. Um, it begins, it's called the July to December 21, 2021 mini catalog. It'll start on August the 3rd. Um, I can't show you the inside until then. Um, but it is a beautiful stamp set and punch, coordinating punch, available at 10% off, only $31.50, which is a great buy. And this is an adorable little penguin. Um, I'm also using the um, Penguin Playmates designer series paper that's available with a $50 purchase beginning August 3rd through September 30th um, with our second round of celebration for 2021. Um, you will get two sheets of six different papers. These are the six papers. And again, you get two each of these. This is the one side, beautiful little um, playful scenes with penguins and snowmen and um, polar bears and all the such. But what I'm using are on this other side, these beautiful tiny prints, which are sometimes so hard to find. And I love the, the colors. The color palette of Just Jade and Fresh Freesia and Misty Moonlight, some of my favorite in colors. But anyway, so let's get started. All of the measurements, again, I will have on my blog, justalittleink.com. If you don't already have a demonstrator, I'd love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. You can order it anytime on my website, justalittleink.stampinup.net. Please use the host code unless you're ordering more than $150, or actually $150 or more. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would so appreciate it if you would do that, and be sure to click that bell so that you receive notifications anytime that I post new videos. So again, we're using the Penguin Place stamp set, the Coordinating Penguin Punch, it's a builder punch. I'm going to be using for my card base a four and a quarter by 11 piece of Misty Moonlight. I have scored it at two and three quarters an inch and then five and a half. You are going to want a piece of, this is out of that designer series paper. You got three different pieces. I am using three different prints. You could use all the same. You want one that is four inches by five and a quarter inches. I'm not sure if I measured the rest of these. I'm kind of been bad about that as of late. You need one two and a half inches by, looks like I did just a little over two and a half. And you want one two and a half inches by four for the front. I want also a piece of fresh, fresh freesia cardstock. This is cut at three and a quarter inches by three and a half inches. And then I need some pieces of basic white, two pieces that are measuring um, three inches by three and a quarter inches. One will get layered onto this. The other is for on the inside. And then you just need a scrap piece to be able to cut out. We're going to fussy cut the little scarf and then his feet. So let me show you how fast this is to go together. First, I will stamp my little snowman scene. Oh, and I didn't include, but I am using the 2021 to 2023 um, in color jewels. They've been very, very popular um, and just great colors. So let's set this to the side. I'm going to pull out my blotter sheet. This is what goes inside of um, our, our Stamparatus. So I'm going to open up Misty Moonlight and I have this snow scene that I have got on here and I'm going to ink it up, but this would be too dark in my opinion for snow. So I'm going to stamp it off once 
And then I'm gonna come up and I wanna get, I don't want him to be too high, then come here. And then I'm going to ink it again so I get the same color. And this time I wanna move it over a little and I just want a second hill, like so. Set that out of the way. I'm also going to want some little snowflakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp them. I wanna stamp off I'm going to kind of give them up and around where I'm going to have my little penguin. And where my trees are going. Stamping off will get you different colors. In fact, if I kept going, you notice I get lighter and lighter, which is one of the great things about rubber ink, rubber and ink. In this case, photopolymer and ink. I will still need that. So now I want to stamp my little penguin. So I'm going to use Tuxedo Black Memento ink because I'm using photopolymer. I don't like using um, stays on because it will permanently color my stamp. You could, but I don't want to. So I'm going to come in here. I want him sitting about right there. I'm not going to punch him out. I don't need that color again, but I am going to need his beak. And so I'm using some Mango Melody. It's a lighter orange, kind of an orange yellow. I put it in here and I put both the stamps on by block. I'm going to pull one off. Come up. I want to put my beak right there. Kind of get that off. And I'm going to stamp on my scrap piece here. I need a couple paws. What do you call these? These are probably feet. I don't know. They're paws for a dog. I, I'm a dog person. So I've got a couple feet there that I will punch out. I also want to go ahead and stamp my... Um, scarf put it on this end and then I'll fussy cut that one and I'm going to stamp I may get this on the way so let me stick his hat on the other side a little less stuff showing up there there we go so I got those two things stamped and then I need to finally stamp my little trees. There's so many little images that you can use with this guy. I'm so excited to keep playing with him. So I'm going to stamp one down here. Nice dark. This is just jade. Then I want to stamp a couple more. I'm going to put one here. Then I want to come a little higher like here. Kind of however you would like to do your scene. So get Just Jade put away. Don't need all of this in the blotter anymore. I do want my punch. And so my, my little feet are at the top. And so part of this is going to end up getting cut off. And that's okay. As long as I don't cut off. Let's see if you can see it into my camera. So I need this foot. Got some extra pieces there, and it looks like I did cut a little into them. Let's see if I can get enough. I have one I had stamped earlier. I may have to use him. Let me grab my other one. It's amazing what happens when you do things in advance. So then I would fussy cut this cute little scarf. And because you don't want to watch me do it, I've already done one. I'm going to pull out my multi-purpose liquid glue. I'm going to put just a dot here and a dot here for his feet. Don't need much. It's kind of the old preschool a dot will do it. I may have had more dot than I want. 
It's going to be two colored one. These look like a little stronger than the other. Put a little glue. I've got a fresh glue. It's pretty juicy. I'll line up his cute little scarf onto this cute little body like so. And then I just need to line up using my stamp and seal. Line it up on my fresh freesia. I've got one more little thing I need to stamp. So I'm going to take here, I've got my little words, and I chose from here the one that says, Be cool, be chill, be merry. And I'm going to use full strength Misty Moonlight on this one. And I'm going to put it just kind of in the top part, leave a little room for some writing. Like so. Then I pull out... So this one little piece here, I want to make sure I have a little pull piece for my gift card. And so I'm going to use my layering circles dies, and I'm going to use the smallest circle. I'm going to line it up. I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to line it up, run it through my mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. You could use the full-sized one. That certainly would work. Line it up. Put my plates in here. I leave this one on my on my stamp table all the time. I just need a little bit off of that. Go here. Take rid of these. So I pull that off. Leaves just a little lip. So then I can show you how fast this will go together in assembly. So I'm going to fold it along that five and a half inch mark. Pull out my bone folder because I don't want finger marks. So I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to fold this piece back. This is that piece that was scored at two and three quarters of an inch, like so. Then it's a matter of assembling my pieces. I'm choosing the stripe. I can't wait to be using the rest of these papers. Again, they are the most beautiful and playful photos or pictures on the fronts and backs. I think it's going to be a very, very popular um, choice from Celebration. Um, you have an option when Celebration begins on August 3rd of... Um, buying so any order of 50 or more so every 50 dollar order keep going here um gets you a celebration item um every increment so 50 100 150 and so on you can also host a party and when you reach 300 dollars, you get an extra gift um, you can choose um oh uh, it's it's a pre-selected stamp. It's cute, cute, cute. But then the other thing is you can choose to join to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. It's one of the most popular times, though any time is a great time to be a demonstrator. Um, and um, you get to choose a, some pre-selected bundles that are in that big mini catalog. So I'm going to line this up. I want it centered. I want about the same amount on both sides. And so I don't want to put it beyond. So I'm going to put some adhesive on this end and get it to run. Okay. Line up. And come to like here. So many different ways you could choose to do this. And oh, so many different options birthday. Thank you. So then I took this piece is where I want to put my little gift card. So I'm going to pull out my glue. The careful part is to not get too close. So I don't have a lot of room to run a gift card. That's why I think I didn't quite get enough glue on the sample. So just a real light line. Don't squeeze too hard. Like so. Then I'm going to line it up toward the bottom. 
like this, like so. I want it to line up, like so. I'm going to pull out, I keep used gift cards in here so I can test that it works. There we go. It's never a bad idea to kind of put one in there. And then when you close it, it kind of tucks in. This piece, this is my little tip. So turn it right side down, line it up so that it mirrors this back side. Use your adhesive. Here again, I'm using stamp and seal like so. And I'm going to take then is take this piece and I'm going to close my card. And when I close my card, I have then attached it in such a way that it's going to be hidden until I open. So thank you so much again for joining me. If you enjoyed this, I hope you will subscribe. Um, and again, I look forward to seeing what you do with the Penguin Place bundle. Thanks again for joining me. We'll catch you again next time. Bye.